Hello YouTube, welcome to the Bear Gardener channel. I'm really excited about this next thing that we're going to be doing. And we're, what we're going to be doing is talking about sprouting seeds. All of the different types of seeds, specifically today, we're going to be talking about Brussels sprouts. The Brussels sprout seeds that I'll be using for the purpose of this demonstration are a Long Island improved variety from Heaven's Harvest. I'll provide the link in the description below if you want to get these seeds for yourself. In this video, I'll be going over two different ways to start your seedlings or propagate your seeds. And one of the ways is going to be in rock wool for hydroponic systems. And the other way is going to be on paper tiles for use in either hydroponic systems or to plant directly into soil. For both sets, I'm gonna be doing one set at room temperature at about 75 degrees for a constant 24 hour period. The other set I'm going to be putting in the fridge for 12 hours and leaving in the room temperature at 75 degrees for the other 12 hours. Now the reason for that is because some seeds need that cold snap, that 12 hour period, like garlic you would have to leave in the cold for uh, at least three months to get it to get used to that cold that it gets from the natural winter outside. But for some seeds, they need that cold and warm, like replicating a spring environment to get them to germinate. And that sets the seed and tells the seed that it's time to actually sprout. Now, I don't know whether Brussels sprouts need that or not, but we're gonna go through that in our experiment to see if it has any effect on the seed's growth or germination rate whatsoever. So come along with me and check out how to sprout Brussels sprout seeds. Let's get into it. So here we are on day zero and these are the Brussels sprouts in the dome. I have done two of them and one of them is actually in, is going to be in room temperature for 24 hours. Like it's going to just constantly be in room temperature. And the other side on the right side is going to be refrigerated for 12 hours. And I'm doing an experiment here to see if one of them will sprout faster. Uh, some of, sometimes germinating seeds, that's a thing. So that is that. So here we have the paper towel type on the Brussels, Brussels sprout uh, germination test. And I'm doing the same thing with these as one of them is gonna be 24 hours room temperature and one of them is going to be 12 hours cold and 12 hours of room temperature. And I have them sitting on top of my grow light set up here, as you can tell, it's because it creates a little bit more warmth for them. And they will actually be, these ones don't need light to germinate, so they're sitting on top of it, so that will be fine. And right there next to it is our spinach experiment. So that one's 12 on, 12 off, and we'll let you know how that does as well. But yeah, this is the Brussels sprouts, and this is day zero. So of course, there's nothing really to show you on the inside of them. And as you can see, I like to label them like this, so that way I know, and it keeps it fresh in my mind, the day I did it, what the factors were that I have included, and all of that junk. So that is where we're at right now. That's day zero, and they are just sitting in there. I'll show you the inside of them here. And that's what it looks like inside of there. Sorry if it's a little bit dark, hopefully you can see that. Uh, there's just six seeds just sitting in there, showing right on top of a paper towel that's very, very moist. So hopefully the seeds will germinate just fine. So we'll see you back here on day two to check up on how these seeds are doing. This is day two. And as you can see, they are already open and sprouting the roots. It doesn't matter. This one here is the 12 hour in the cold and 12 hours not. And we have four out of six germinated. And in the full, it looks like we have, again, five out of six that germinated here. Let's take a look at the ones in the rock wall. Day two for the rock wool. Still nothing sprouting. This is the 24 hour room temperature. And this is the 24 hour, or I'm sorry, the 12 hour on, 12 hour off. Neither one of them have started to sprout yet. Check back in on day four or five to see how they're doing. We'll see you then. So here we are on day six with the Brussels sprout plants, and I wanna show you exactly what has happened with these Brussels sprout plants. Let's look at it. 
So these ones here are the seeds that I sprouted on the just paper towels with the germination trays and the dome humidity domes on top of them. And as you can see, they all actually sprouted. One, one of the seeds decided that it was gonna hang on a while and this is again, just day seven and five out of the six have shot way up. And again, with the ones that I left out, they've all germinated and these ones have been at room temperature the whole time. They've all germinated, but the one seed coincidentally enough in the same spot also was the only one that didn't sprout. So we have a very successful germination rate doing it with the paper towel method, whether we put them in the fridge for 12 hours or whether we left them out at room temperature. Let's go ahead and check out the rock wool ones. Now here are the rock wool ones. This one is the one that has been room temperature the whole time. And as you can see, there is absolutely nothing that has sprouted. I don't know why that is. Every single thing was done the exact same on these as these. These ones were put in the fridge for 12 hours on, 12 hours off until they started sprouting. And as you can see, after seven days, it made a huge difference as we have the majority of them sprouted in the rock wool that were in the fridge 12 on, 12 off. Again, the exact same thing was done to both of them. So that's very interesting that we have those results. So let me know in the comments below. Do you plan on using either one of these methods to sprout your Brussels sprout seeds? Or do you have a method that you've used before that works for you that you'd like me to check out? I'd like to hear from you either way. As always, if you like this content, please give us a thumbs up as it really helps the channel out. And if you want to hear more of this type of content, hit the subscribe button as that'll really help us out too. As always, thanks for tuning in and God bless.